I began my journey in September 2007 with the death of my wife, Judy Lee, a woman I loved so dearly who was also my film partner. I couldn't imagine her not being. Where did she go? She had to exist in some spiritual or energy form. If not, I would be even more devastated by the loss. I had to re-examine, or rather affirm, my belief system. I had been exposed to metaphysical concepts before Judy passed away, but they did not dominate my life. Now I wanted to build a bridge to the metaphysical world. Ken Burns' film, The Brooklyn Bridge, provided me with a metaphor. Burns tells us that the engineers had to take a leap of faith in the construction of the bridge because they never hit solid bedrock when constructing the bridge pier on the Manhattan side of the East River like they did on the Brooklyn side. Digging deeper would have led to more injuries and deaths. But after examining fossils in the sand, they realized that this bottom had been there unchanged for millions of years. The engineers figured they had dug deep enough. So many things have happened serendipitously over my life and during the period after her passing that it gave me a greater belief and confidence that there is more to this three-dimensional physical world that we live in. I began reading every book friends would recommend to me. I wanted to see how quantum physics worked, to see if there were other dimensions in which we could exist in a different form, to understand how the universe connects with us and us to the universe how inspirational thoughts and messages came to us out of the blue. There's too many unexplained things that happen in the world, that happen with people, that basically, in some respects, are dismissed by science. But I think the more intellectual scientists say, we just don't know. It's a new space, it's a new dimension, it's another condition. Just like you can feel your presence, the presence, the essence of the person that you were with is not obliterated, it's not dispersed, it's somewhere. I realized my mother's body was deteriorating, I was going to lose her but I wasn't really going to lose her because her life energy was still going to be here. I had this out-of-body experience that I can only describe as, as miraculous and beautiful, and I was afraid at the end that I would die if I didn't pull myself back. When my first wife passed, I remember feeling as if some part of me died with her because I let it because I had invested so much in her. To forgive yourself is very important. To forgive yourself that you are enjoying now maybe more and more your life again. And she smiled at me and that was it. I had this um, visit from uh, Gary and it was as real to me as um, I was grasping and it was a surprise to me that he wasn't there. Don't let anyone tell you that it's been long enough. Um, don't let anyone tell you that um, uh, move on with your life, even if they say that's what your loved one would want you to do. 